Hello and welcome to one overnight. If you didn't subscribe to my YouTube channel, click on the subscribe button and click the bell icon to get daily and weekly updates regularly when I upload a new video. So guys, on this video, I'll be showing how to model 3D cheese on this video. So now, let's get started. So everyone, I sorry for the because I recorded my modeling video separately. I am and uh, recording my audio separately because it, it's taken me so much of time it's uh, it taken me nearly half an hour one hour nearly 45 minutes to half an hour exactly i don't know but it taken me nearly 45 minutes to complete this uh, modeling video so i don't want your uh, precious time to waste for this uh, 45 minutes for that i just time lapse it so you can easily understand and uh, quickly uh, follow my videos as you can uh, do alongside modeling so here i used uh, basic shapes like uh, uh, cube and uh, cylinder so i used uh, cylinder to make holes by using boolean modifier so if you don't know boolean modifier please check it out uh, search internet or if you are using blender you will know that boolean modifier is a very good tool so i'll here in the video you can see that i'm using a boolean modifiers so guys if you want to uh, get more information or if you want to learn something new you can uh, search uh, in internet or you can follow me on facebook i will post uh, regular updates uh, related to blender and uh, some other new things in blender so here the holes are completed i am scaring some backs of the cheese and now i'm adding colors to get some depth to it so I am selecting the back side uh, to assign a darker tone because a cheese uh, will have a darker tone uh, outside and uh, a lighter tone lighter red tone on inside so now I am using a cylinder to make a plate so th this is a basic uh, modeling so I just uh, excluded it, scaled it and excluded it once again and uh, scaled it. So these are the basic uh, steps in uh, modeling. So uh, if you are beginner, this will be uh, very easy to do and uh, you can uh, make a good plate uh, better than me which I created in this uh, video. So. I think my plate is looks good but you can also make a good plate better than me you just need to try it out yourself so guys I used surface subdivision modifier here and smooth it out and also used same for my plate also so now I added plane centered my plate and um, cheese and uh, lighting added lights light strength to 2500 i think and uh, set the po camera view adjust the angle and adjust the position of uh, my camera view and now we will i my open multi window and open a node editor to apply colors and add mix shader then glossy shader that's it next i selected plate and added a glossy shader i think a uh, glossy shader is like a 0 0.150 and the platform is like 0 0.50 it, it should be exact but it depends upon what uh, model are you taking and what uh, what you are using 
here I applied and tried some of colors and I used uh, layer weights first nuts and uh, mix shade and glossy shade of for my cheese uh, here I rechecked all of my corrections on everything it is uh, right or not and then I add remesh modifier to get a uh, smooth uh, mesh then I vented some I went to know it uh, and close joined all the scenes here here you can see and went to camera view by pressing 0 and I checked for colors and brightness a is it okay or not uh, then I just quickly rendered it so uh, I rendered in time lapse only so it was like a CPU rendering and uh, this uh, and I use I modeled it in the beta uh, version of Blender. So on the render top, you can see there's a denoising feature. So guys, I rendered I modeled in that uh, test build only. So think the render is good. So if you enjoy this video, give it a like. If you learn something new from this video, give it a like and Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, click on subscribe button and then click bell icon to get daily and weekly updates regularly when I upload a new video. Thanks for watching this video. See you later.